cover to begin. This book belongs to you. Type in your name and click on the screen. I'm PJ Puddles. Do you need some help? To choose a narrator, click on their picture. To begin the story, click on the title page. Click on the pointing hands to see a picture of each page. Click on the picture to get to that page quickly. Click on this picture to go back to the title page. Slide the frog face back and forth to make the sound loud or soft. Click on the question mark button if you want my help, but you already know that. Click on this button to see the credits. Click on the buy button to quit. That's it. Go ahead. Jump on in and splash around. There once was a girl named Yolanda Yelzala, whose voice always put her in a sticky spot. Whenever she would speak or talk or tell, she would simply always, always yell. When introducing herself, she'd say, I'm Yolanda Yelzala. How are you today? <laughs> I'm Sandy Speaks So Soft. I'll join you on each page. You'll find me in the beginning and at the end on stage. There once was a girl named Yolanda Yells a lot whose voice always put her in a very sticky spot Whenever she would speak or talk or tell She would simply always yell For instance, if she were to introduce herself, she'd say I'm Yolanda yells a lot How are you today? She yells when she was home And even on the phone And in a noisy crowd She yells really loud And if by chance you meet Yolanda What is your name? My name's Yolanda Yelzalot, Sally! Haven't you been paying attention? Do you have a favorite number? Yep, I sure do! My favorite number is five! Cause that's how many times I can jump on one foot! Do you want to see? One, two, three, What do you like to do? I collect rocks! Um, here they are! Wanna see them? See? <laughs> Yolanda loved to yell. She loved to holler so much, she went off to the library to learn to yell in Dutch. She asked the librarian, Can you help me find a book? I'm new to this library, and I don't know where to look. The librarian and all of the people said, Shh, shush, hush, quiet please. Yolanda muttered as she left, I just wanted a book. Why are you shush hushing me? You need to whisper in a library. Keep very quiet. 
people here are looking for information, so don't call the riot. to shout. Hey, Mom! I don't know what that man is eating over there, but it looks a lot like a big plate of red, greasy hair! The manager demanded they leave. As soon as they were able, Yolanda said, That's fine with me! I'd rather eat in a stable! <laughs> Saying gross things while people are eating is really kind of rude. It ruins people's appetites, so they can't eat their food. Oh, 
I would appreciate it if you would please keep your voice down or leave the restaurant. That's enough now. What would you like to eat, Yolanda? I don't know. Why don't you pick out something for me? Just click on the menu to see what you can order. menu items to see what they are. When you are satisfied with your choice, click on me and I will put your order in. Fried bacon, fried eggs, muffins, hot dog, steak, macaroni, corn and the cob, egg roll, rice, Root beer, soda, coffee, sprinkles, blueberry, butterscotch, raspberry, butterscotch, soda, cheesecake, chocolate cake, peach pie, cheesecake, And the cob, French fries, egg roll, hot dog, steak, fried eggs, bacon. I would like, hmm, steak, onion rings, and peach pie, please. Thank you. what I want, but I definitely do not want one of those plates of red, greasy hair. Definitely do not want one of those plates of red, greasy hair. They went to a store with clothes so exquisite, but to that store they only made one visit. She suggested to her mom what each customer should wear, and her suggestions received only grave or grim glares. Her neighbor, Mrs. Lofton Bearbow, gave Yolanda a look that she couldn't quite figure. When Yolanda said to her mom, Hey, 
Hey, she could use a few sizes bigger. People are usually sensitive about how others see them. You know, their looks. Things you probably shouldn't say could fill a thousand books. Hi, can I help you? Oh, I see. You would prefer to help yourself. Step on into our funky boutique. We've got styles to make you unique. Colors gone wild, guaranteed to smile. Dress up, dress up, Yolanda. Switch it up and mix and match. Like a baby doll, not a cabbage patch. The racks are packed from end to end. So bring in your mother and tell your best friend. And brassy and refined and classy You've never seen clothes this contagious Magazine pages can't contain this From the clean and squeaky to the furry and the freaky From the grim and proper to the cheeky and the geeky Let the cuts change with your mood Dress up Yolanda, express your attitude Go ahead, try it on Yolanda. She could use a few sizes bigger. Oh, my. Oh, Yolanda.
she whispered to her mom at the mall. It really was not a whisper at all. That man over there has enormous ears. Everyone turned with ogles and goggles and looks and leers. Whoops, said Yolanda. Did I say that too loud? Yes, bellowed the big-eared man from the crowd. I have some pennies to throw in the fountain! I love throwing pennies into fountains and making wishes! Oh, I have to remember to get stuck. Would you like to try? I've got some pennies right here for you! Okay. just couldn't take any more. Yolanda had been banned from every restaurant and store. Then Yolanda's mom thought, I have the solution to it all. I'll take her to a park where she can play ball. She couldn't possibly disrupt in a place with all that outside noise. Yolanda grabbed her baseball mitt and played ball with some girls and boys. This plan was going well, playing loud, happy games in the park. All Yolanda's mom heard was, Let's 
lots of kids yelling and an occasional bark. Yolanda's team was up at bat. Yolanda watched from the bench. A player hit a pop fly. Suddenly, Mom felt her hands clench. And then it came, as certain as rain falls and as sure as crazy glue sticks. My cat hits better than that. And what? Are your pants full of bricks? What Yolanda yelled seemed a bit mean in a game played for fun. Maybe she could have said, Good try, Louie. Next time, you'll hit that ball to the sun. Yolanda's mom said. I think I know how to bring this yelling to an end. Yolanda's mom had remembered Randy, her colorful, wonderful friend. They went to the theater to see a show that Randy was performing. Yolanda leaned towards her mom and said, This is almost as fun as standing among bees that are swarming. Come on, mom, Yolanda said. This is boring. Let's Go! No, replied Yolanda's mom. We're meeting my friend Randy after the show. Lots of people paid money to see a great show. If you intend to talk during a performance, you just shouldn't go. <laughs> Thank you! I saw that play in London.
Yolanda's mom took her backstage to meet the actors from the play. They got just close enough to hear the man who played the lead say, Did you hear that girl in the crowd? So loud and impolite? Her behavior was unkind and uncaring. It really just wasn't right. Why, just last week, my friend Frank was crushed and in tears when some young girl loudly made fun of his ears. And Mrs. Lofton Barbo hasn't left her house for a week. She's so morose after a mean little girl made her feel big, ugly, and gross. Poor Mrs. L. She's so special, so kind, and so dear. Words can hurt people badly. That fact is abundantly clear. Some people don't realize how quickly sadness and hurt are created. It takes only some words that are mean or too loudly stated. Yolanda began to cry, softly, not loudly at all. Mom, I've been so bad. As her tears continued to fall, I forgot that the people I talk about are just like me. They're real. Now that I heard that man talking, I guess I know how they feel. I feel sad and unliked. I think my heart just started to crack. I should have thought before speaking. I wish I could take it all back. <laughs> Gosh, I don't think Yolanda would have yelled all those things if she had just thought for a minute. She hurt people's feelings. She sure got herself stickly stuck in it. Poor Mrs. L. She's so kind and so dear. Words can hurt people badly. That fact is abundantly clear. Some people don't realize how quickly sadness and hurt are created. It takes only some words that are mean or too loudly stated. I've been so bad. I forgot that the people I talk about are just like me. They're real. Now that I heard that man talking, I guess I know how they feel. I feel sad and unliked. I think my heart just started to crack. I should have thought before speaking. I wish I could take it all back. <laughs> I'm very sorry and very sad. Here, will you dry my tears? you'd like to color light blue brown orange purple light orange green yellow Brown, yellow, red, brown, red, dark blue, light blue, brown, green, red, light blue. Red, light, purple, dark, light blue, green, red,
click on a pic red click click on a red Yolanda began to cry. Then the man turned around and yelled, quite to Yolanda's surprise, Hello, Yolanda! I'm Randy! He shouted with a sparkle in his eyes. I have a secret for you! Randy said, and looked at Yolanda's mom with a smile. Then Randy said, I knew you were there all the while! Yolanda, a long time ago, I was taught the same lesson that you have just learned. I think that you understand what I mean, now that the table has turned. There are some things you should say only to yourself, and certainly not in a yell. Yolanda replied, I guess I see now, but gee, I really yell well. Then Randy said softly, Yolanda, I'll make you a deal that will help to set things right. We can make some time for you to yell with all your yelling might. The rest of the time, remember this rule. Then rough times you'll get through. Say only things about people that you would want them to say about you. Some words need to be whispered, some yelled, and some not said. Sometimes it is hard to keep, which should be what, all straight in your head. Hello! This is my yellometer. A yellometer is very special. It lets you pick words and choose how quietly or loudly I should say them. Here's how you play. Pick a word from the window below. You can scroll through the list of words by clicking on the arrow buttons. Pick a word, then click on how you think I should say it. Have fun! Hey, you! Hey, you! Hey, you! Hey, you! I like ice cream. Hi. Look out! Crumb cake. Scuba diving. Is that a bug? What smells? Mustard. Jelly beans. Excuse me. Quiet, please. Pumpernickel and pumpkins. Splat! Did you see that? Did you see that? Frog Lemon Wiggle and Wildebeest Wow, terrific! Slurp 
been salamanders. Do you have any gum? Mumble and marbles. Dexter D. Wonder Dog. Crunchy. Crunchy. Cheesy. Tootin' tubas. Oom pa pa. Oom pa pa. Oom pa pa. Oom pa pa. Tippy toe and turtles. Your fly is down. This tastes awful. This tastes awful. Run! Jump! Liver is slimy. I can catch frisbees. Boo! Coochie coo! Smile! Shh! The baby's sleeping. I'm as quiet as a giraffe. I crept in like a panther. I stormed in like an elephant. Try it! Don't tell. Shh, did you hear that? Peanut butter. Your hair is a mess. Trombone. I'm tired. What was that? What was that? I don't like that. Bran is overrated. Lumpy tum. Diddly do. Wallum woo wee. I'm grumpy. I'm happy. Zealous zebras zipping. Wanna play? Are you on the phone? Is this the library? I need to use the bathroom. Are those your real ears? I love this movie. On the roller coaster. I need help. Go away! Go away! Go away! I gotta sneeze. Grimy, greasy gremlins. I'm hungry. Platypus. Sarcophagus. Cool. Next. Souffle. Sponge cake. Ew. Pucker and peacock. One lump or two? Watch out! This music is loud. This music is loud! Hooray! We won! Ollie Waddle. Hooray! I'm scared.
Lord of the Dark. Talk louder! That man is tall. Touchdown! Hollering Hunters. Hollering Hunters. is talking. Hey, don't forget to turn the power off, silly. <coughs> Yolanda worked hard to learn when to speak kindly or say things to herself or keep mom. She learned she was different from others and differences are fine and are fun. Randy kept his promise to Yolanda. Tuesdays, they take center stage. Then they go into their shouting, hollering, fun yelling raids. Together, you'll hear them whooping it up on Tuesdays at 4. This is what you will hear if you dare walk through the door. Where Yolanda yells a lot and Randy really loud. We're actors on a stage, a place where it's okay for us to yell in a crowd. Yolanda, let's sing a song about pastry, as loud as we can shout. No, Randy, let's yell. I tried to wash the dog, but he's stuck in the water spout. Together they will yell on and on, without sense or purpose or rhyme. And if you ask them why, they'll tell you, because here and now is the appropriate time. Boy, Yolanda sure yells a lot. If you would like me to read the story to you again, just click on the picture of Yolanda. The story is over, so now I must fly. Thank you so much for playing. I'll see you later. Goodbye. <laughs>《
crazy tune, a ditty that's divine. I'll sing it with Yolanda, cause she yells really fine. Yeah. 